Yes, Abdul Rauf. I'm with Ignite Leaf. This is, um, you can introduce yourself. John Farrell, Executive Director for Daily Bread. Um, just here, we, we started with uh, Ignite Leaf Services with uh, Melbourne, Florida. We started uh, serving food today. Uh, hopefully, we can start doing it scale more often than we did today and um, how I work out today. And this is Paul and he's going to introduce what we've got to do here and how and everything works out here. And, uh, well, do you mean an overview of Daily Bread? Yes. Who we are? Daily Bread was started 22 years ago and um, we feed the hungry, poor and homeless of the area. On average we're feeding 225 a day. As today though, as you saw, it was very light. Not unusual because of cold weather, right. and not unusual because of a weekend. Exactly. During the weekdays, um, we'll average more in the 250 to 280 range. And on the weekend, on Saturday, uh, we'll average anywhere between 150 and, 100 and 200. And um, on a Sunday, average anywhere between 150 and 170. Again, today was a light day. Uh, for those that are homeless, we provide clothing, we provide hygiene items, showers. Um, we also provide a wide variety of services like mail stop. If someone is homeless, they can have their mail come here and pick it up. We also do HIV and AIDS testing. We help out with uh, food stamp issues for veterans, issues that they might have. Um, we have the Brevard Medical Van come every Tuesday to provide free medical care. Um, and a lot of other things depending on what's going on right now. Uh, as far as volunteers, we have over 500 different people that come to Daily Bread and volunteer uh, at least once a month. Among them are 35 groups, most of them churches, that come and, and help serve the meal. Uh, we serve a seven course meal every day of the year um, and it's um, very nourishing. It's enough nourishment to sustain someone for the day. On Saturday and Sunday we tend to have a lighter meal than the rest of the week uh, and Sunday is the lighter of the two meals on, on the weekend. Um, just uh, this our first experience being here how you like everything works out with us or... I, I, I'm a little bit embarrassed because of what happened in that there was another group of people that showed up also. We thought they had, had um, decided not to come anymore and that's why we scheduled you for today. But other than that, um, I, I think most people, uh, most groups that come here for the first time don't know what to expect. Right. If anything, they're a little bit weary or, or leery of, of what to expect. And yet, after they're here, that goes away and they realize they're helping people in need. Uh, I think the same is true for those people that are clients here. Uh, they see new faces all the time that come and serve. So, it's a good thing for everybody. I think your group did very well today for their first time, and we look forward to having them in the future. Okay, great. Yes, um, thank you very much. Uh, for the future, well, we will be going to schedule a monthly or weekly basis. I'm going to um, call you on Wednesday, Yeah. So, uh, once I've talked with Norma, who coordinates our groups, to find out uh, where the holes are in the schedule. So I talked to the people, those who came with me, all the brothers, and they were very excited to come, and when they come here, and, and the, the experience was very good. We do it like a one weekly basis in our, our community deliver food to them, but doing it this way, it was a new experiment for us, but oh, yeah. it worked out pretty good. Though. They feel proud to do stuff, you know, serving food to homeless, and it's always make you feel you appreciate what you have. Of course. It was, you know, I talked to the kids who came with me, and I, they really appreciate what they were doing, serving food and helping out the kids. Alhamdulillah, as far as my understanding, uh, when you serve someone, it always, you know, make you well, thankful to what God provide you. Absolutely. And this is the main purpose of coming here and you know bring it. It's not going to be the same people going to come with me. I'm going to try to have rotate 
like all the youth gonna come with me one week and you know adults gonna come other day. Uh, I we didn't have any youth this week, but I did everybody on the school today. Sure. So this way I try all the seniors. Because that was the first time I don't want to take chances with the youth. I understand. That's so, what I'm talking about. Yeah. You never know what to expect. So this way we next week or a couple of whenever we have a schedule, we can bring the youth that that I know what happened. Everything works out. I can tell them what to do, how to do it. For sure. my experience for today was kind of new for me to figure out things. Alhamdulillah, everything works out okay. Yeah. I really appreciate you all, you know, uh, offering us to come here, and we're very glad to be here. We appreciate having you, and you're right. Our God, no matter what we call Him, right. uh, is it requires us to share with those in need. Right. That's part of our religion. So, yes. All right. Appreciate. When you feel all alone in this world. And there's nobody to count your tears Just remember no matter where you are Allah knows Allah knows When you're carrying a monster load And you wonder how far you can go With every step on that road that you take Allah knows Allah knows no matter what inside or out There's one thing of which there's no doubt Allah knows Allah knows And whatever lies in the heavens and the heavens Every star in this whole universe Allah knows Allah knows When you find that spell Someone feel your whole life has barely begun. You can walk on the moon, shout it to everyone. Allah 